Good afternoon to you all from the Athlone Stadium in Cape Town for round 11 action in the Curry Cup between the hosts, DHL Western Province, and the defending champions in the Curry Cup, the Airlink Pumas. Special moment for Corne Fouri, celebrating his 100th appearance for the Pumas. So getting down towards the business end of the competition, four rounds remain before the semi-finalists are determined. Jean-Luc Duplessy leads out the men in the blue and white hoops. So against the throw they go, but a loose ball for Criswell, September. Well, a claim of obstruction, but Cameron Dawson is streaking away for the Pumas here. And over for the score. Masimla. Away for Lowell. Tackle! Still using pods of forwards to to drive here on Western Province. Masimla! Thought he might look to go wide there with the backs queuing up to his left, but spotted the opening. Next to the padding on the post, and he celebrates his return from injury with his first try of the campaign. And away by Masimla for Duplessis. Here's Luke Berger. Oh, and Blomakis was on the way there, perhaps. The assistant referee is having a word with... The yellow card there. I've got a deliberate knock on by number 11. That's what you saw. All right. There was an opportunity for a line break. Number 11. Well, Lundian Senge is being sent to the Sinbin for a deliberate knockdown. And they're rollicking on towards the line, and Masimla for Duplessis. Well, we spoke about all the space out on the right. The scrum went the other way. The ball popped out relatively untidily. But I do believe referee Judd is when he was playing an advantage. Yeah. So Godlin Masimla was able to play that significant blindside, feed his captain. He goes over for a second try in his Curry Cup career. Got the first last week in Volkov. They get an opportunity to set them all of their own, and Jakobs controlling, and the captain at the forefront of this driving mall. Jakobs eventually breaking away. Tackle now, release province. Ball is available, and uh, Snayman is in there. Has a look to the blind side. De Beer comes wide, and it's going to be a try in the corner. Surely, brilliant score. Andrew Cotta it is. Superb work from the Pumas. They drew defenders in with a very effective maul and created that space out wide, which they exploited to perfection. That's a penalty advantage to Western Province, close to the post. And the little dink through from Duplessis. All on the bounce of the ball here. Well played by Cornell Smith. It's Western Province going for... The shot at I'm not sure goal. On the table. Let's, uh, let's time Put check them this. one point in the lead. Unsuccessful with the conversion of his own try, Jean-Luc Duplessis. But this time he makes no mistake. And the Western Province captain has his seat signed back in front. Is that over the line? I don't think so. Desperate defending here from the Ailing Pumas. And then the try awarded. Who are they going to pull up last? Is it Andre Smith? Well, he made a valiant effort just a few moments ago, only to be denied next to the post. But the big lock forward, who's never been far from the action in this contest finishes it with a try so the results secure no bonus point for the home side just a, a third try but this kick to deny the Erling Pumas 
a bonus point for finishing within seven. He's taken it a long way back behind the 22. The Pumas in the starting blocks, trying to apply the pressure. And Jean-Luc Duplessis does indeed add the extras to deny the visitors, the defending champions in the Curry Cup, a losing bonus point. Full time at Athlone Stadium. DHL Western Province 22, Ealing Pumas 14.